Well, hello everybody, I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, and I have something special for you today. Uh, these right here are coin ping testers. And the reason why I have them all laid out here is actually because I'm gonna talk to the creator of this little machine here, and we're gonna try to learn about him and the machine and what it does and how it's really, really helpful uh, to our hobby, to our, our lifestyle of collecting precious metals. And I think you're gonna really enjoy this. It's uh, it's really cheap um, for really the, you know, just about the price of you going out to get uh, a snack for, for lunch or dinner. Um, you can go ahead and get yourself one of these and potentially save yourself a lot of money uh, when it comes to getting into counterfeits because that's what we don't want in this hobby. We want to get rid of counterfeits. We wanna stop it. So please check out this video of me talking with the actual creator of the Pocket Pinger and uh, listen to what he has to say and our interaction and we're going to go over exactly how this works. So stay with me as we do that now. What's up, man? How's it going? Going well. Let me try and figure out how to turn this around. Hey, everybody. No, let's just see your face. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we got a last minute set up here, but I do think I have everything ready to go. Now, did you get all <laughs> the uh, the pre-generated uh, and approved questions that I sent you so that you know exactly what I'm going to say to you? 100% ready. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't, we didn't do any of that. Nope. This is just going to be a wing it kind of thing because I always believe that if you have a good product and you really believe in it and it's solid, you'll have no problem answering any kind of question just somebody like me is just going to be able to throw at you. So I think you're going to get some of that here, and I bet you're going to be able to answer it. I hope so. Definitely hope so. So, like, start from the beginning, if you could, please. And if it's okay, I'm going to have this on Instagram. Obviously, it's here now. And then what I want to do later is actually try to put this onto YouTube, if it's okay to do that. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, absolutely, man. Whatever you want to do. Of course. I think you actually have a good product. So uh, talk people through like who you are and what this thing is and what it does. Uh, sure. My name is Farshad Kayud. I am a uh, middle-aged entrepreneur, I guess you would say. <laughs> and I have a product here that helps people test their coins and Boolean uh, using the power of sound. It's a really, really simple device. Uh, it's a modern innovation to the historic ping test. And I'm uh, happy to show you guys what it is with a few different demonstrations. Uh, maybe in a few minutes. Yeah, whenever you can. Now, uh, so the ping test, we've been doing that for a while where we just take something and we balance it on our finger and then we just kind of like hit it with another coin or whatever that is. That's basically what you're doing here, right? Essentially, it's the same. Yeah, so the, the ping that's coming from the coin is going to be similar to the ping that comes from the ping with the pocket pinger. Uh, but with the pocket pinger, depending on the coin, you can get a magnitude longer resonance. Uh, let me see if I can find an example of that. I don't have one out with me. Well, I've seen one of the videos you had where you have a coin in here and you hit it once and that thing just rings for a long time. And I think you end up ringing like five times throughout the entirety of your video, but it just kept going this thing. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's like quite a few coins that will do that. I'm going to try and change the lighting here. But that just got way worse. Okay. Well, um, yeah. So tell me what one is. Maybe I have one here. Yeah, so there's a sweet spot when it comes. So here, so here's a quick little ping test quick tip for you guys. The more pure the metal is, generally the shorter the duration of that ping is going to be. Uh, so if you have like a coin that's four nines, it's usually going to be short and tight and vibrating. But if you get down to like, I think the sweet spot is around 92 and a half percent for silver, you're going to have a really, really long resonant ping come from the coin. Oh, what's that guy there? A little Balboa. Or well, oh, perfect. Balboa. Cool. 90 percenter. So that'll work, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. All right, yeah. walk me through it. I just put it in the middle here, right? Yes. As best as possible. Now, how safe are these little, like, grips? I think you mentioned those before. How safe? Uh, well, they're definitely not going to scratch the coin. But if you're putting it on a proof surface, uh, so you got to think. So if there's dirt on those caps, that dirt will be transferred into that coin's little cracks and grooves and everything. So you do want to make sure that they're clean. Or you want to make sure you're not putting them onto a coin that, is a super high numismatic value coin. It's a use it on risk device, but it, it's generally pretty safe in my opinion. Okay. So I got the coin in there. Now I have some options right from here. 
Yep, you can either press down on the coin's edge or use that little stack stick there to tap on the edge of the rim. All right, well, I'm going to start with this little process. And I just kind of just hold it with my hand here and just hit it? Uh, yeah, exactly. And now, if you want the sound to come into the speaker, you have to aim like the flat part of the coin towards the speaker, kind of at an angle, or the microphone, and then that'll put the sound right into the speaker. Let's see. I don't know if I can do that. The speaker's down here. Isn't it? Hold on. There you go. We can actually test that coin. So you said that's a Balboa. Let's try and do that through the... Can you let me know what year that is? This one is... Hold on. Standby. Uh, <clears throat> 1947. Okay. So when now you're this, searching... This the... app does not belong to you, right? No. These, this is a, developed by a guy named Liming Yang and his partner. They're over in France. I think he's a Chinese guy living in France. Super smart dude. Um, and it was a Balboa. Yeah, now, but this is the official times. companion app to the Pocket Pinger. Is that, what, is that a quarter or is that the full dollar? This is the full dollar. Probably this is the, the full big one. one. Yeah. So we've got it selected here. I'm going to double tap it. And oh, it was already there. And now will you hit that again? I right, should do it again? Yep. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Here, we can try that one more time. Try one more time, get it closer. Ready? Yep. Oh, wait, hold on. One more time, one more time. Wait, wait, wait. Ready. And you can see that actually came back three of three great. That is a one Balboa. So it's good. So it's good. It's perfect. Whew. Okay, so I didn't get anything fake. Yeah, right. So the way that this app is working, there's 800 pre-recorded coins in this device. So there's 36,000 coins in the catalog, but only 800 of them you're comparing with the known authentic. So when you see that check mark, you're comparing with the known authentic. And when you're doing the, the ping test, you always want to make sure you're comparing with the known authentic. Uh, otherwise, there's going to be some sort of limitations in how well it works. So when you're using the app, you definitely want to see that check mark, and that coin is, is in there. I also want to kind of uh, give a little disclaimer here that I am pinging it from my house, and you are picking it up at your place on your app so the sound's yes, going to be you know uh, traveling from one house to the other pretty much over the uh the world wide web the internet magical wires so that's right that's probably why it took a couple times for it to work and of course i had to get it right next to the speaker but if you do it at your house with the app um i've tried it myself it works really really well yeah 100 percent. you're right so now the other method you said is if i take the uh, what i like to call the beating stick but what is, what's the official name here the stack stick the stack stick yeah all right. And this right here is what, just information? Uh, yeah, it's like a disclaimer saying you don't want to slam it really hard into your coin, right? Okay. So everything that went into this was what is the safest, most effective way we can make a device. Uh, so that's a really lightweight hickory. It's a special species of hickory, actually. So it's softer than the true hickories that are super hard that could dent coins really easily. Gotcha. Uh, but you still, want to, you still want to use a really light tap when you're tapping it just to be safe. Tap and the harder you tap it doesn't make it louder or anything, really. Okay, and um, where do I, do I hit it like down this way? Do I hit it here? Yes, yeah, so you wanna hit it on the edge of the rim. So kind of like on, just on the tip. Let's see, so like, uh, I can't do this, there you go. So on the edge of the rim like that, never on the reeds directly or directly on the surface of the coin. Okay. Yep. And why, why don't you show me how to do it first uh, one time so I can see the right way versus my way. <laughs> okay, so. So I've got a little piece of gold in here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can still hear it, yeah. Yeah, this one will actually go for 25, 30 seconds with a light ping like that, just holding it up to your ear. And the same sweep spotted with the gold too, 22 carat, about 92 and a half percent. I can still hear it ringing. Yeah, yeah, you can right. heat your coffee up and come back. <laughs> <laughs> I do want some coffee. All right, I'm gonna try mine here. Here we go. This is the Balboa. I'm gonna try to do this right. Let me see if I can get it closer to the speaker. Yeah, that's, that sounds beautiful. So yeah, I did it right. You, okay. Yeah, but you don't, so when you're first starting off, see, I probably went about this the wrong way. So when I first started doing this, I wasn't using the ping test app. I was literally just pinging everything, just going and training my ear. Yeah. And, and that took me about probably about a month to where I could confidently say if a coin had silver or gold in it just by the sound of it. Um. And then I started using the apps, and the apps is a, definitely a shortcut. So if you don't know what to listen for, I highly suggest the app. 
Um, but it is a skill that, that someone can develop. So when I hear that Balboa, like right away, it just sounds like a beautiful silver coin. So some people were asking the question, the app um, is free. Yeah, yeah, for you guys can get it right now. Uh, uh, can I type that in the chat? Um, if you can, do it. Um, absolutely. It's a great tool. Anything for free, I mean, we're, we're all about. Yep. It's free now. They have been talking about adding in a paywall. Um, but if you guys get this, I'll make sure that uh, – well, I can't make sure if we're 100% sure, but I'll try and say grandfather the people that are already on it into it because that seems like the right fair thing to do. That would be cool. But and there and it is like, there. if people have to pay a couple bucks for the app, I mean, it is what it is, but it would go towards the development of this thing. And I've already seen the kind of the app evolve. And the fact that you can go on that app and um, you don't like if you have a scale and calipers, you can pretty much look up any, you know, size silver round or anything. But now he's got it to the point where you can type in the coin and it does like a search for all these different coins out there. And you say, yeah, that's actually the one I got. Boom. And then you just ping it. And uh, it works really well. The app. Yeah, the, the app is great. You want to make sure you see that check mark. So there is a limitation into this and I, I need to make a training video still. Uh, it's the same limitation when you're using your ear. So if you're not comparing with a known authentic, there's a purity limitation. Um, so, and, and it's the same kind of thing. So there's a lot of different, so each 90% coin, it could be, you know, 10% copper, 10% something else or nickel or whatever mixed in with the silver. And when you're doing the app and you're, you're not searching with a known authentic. And so right there, basically that is a fancy way of saying you are not comparing with a known authentic. Okay. Um, so you click that and you can enter in the fineness, the weight and the diameter, like spectacular was just saying with the dimensions and the specifications that you're looking for. And it'll tell you if it hears silver in the coin or not. And it's really, really good at that. Uh, but there is a purity limitation when you are entering the parameters manually. And, um, but if you see this check mark, then you're comparing with a known authentic and you'll, that's like a match. And you always want to, you always want to go for the match if you can. So um, now people are asking how much you know, approximately one of these cost. Uh, those are 20 bucks shipped and um, another three bucks for the stack stick. And I highly recommend you guys get this. And uh, this little tool right here is, is, is great. It's, it's literally specifically designed for your precious metals. So for You're about nice $23 finger. shipped in the U S right. I mean, yeah, if they buy get, direct through the site, right. And then they're you get 25 pretty much bucks. a uh, product that's tried and true. Is it not? I mean, the, this, the method of pinging a coin is like, pretty old millennia <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's uh the the farthest i could go back and read was when like viking soldiers i think or i think it was vikings they they were getting paid in currency and they couldn't test it without the special equipment and then they figured out that they could bounce it off their swords and and their j chest plates and things like that and they could hear the sound of the silver and then uh, as the governments like progressed through their cycles it, it debased the metal down to where they couldn't hear that ping anymore and started to fight back so that's a little history really cool. sound like. now is there a way um to fool this machine really i haven't been able to trick it um no uh, on if you're pinging a coin that is not matching the specifications on the coin app you can get some funky stuff but that's what you always need to compare or verify with your calipers and your scale and um, I have not been able to trick it, but I don't believe in absolutes, you know, but so far, no, I haven't been able to trick it. But if you're just, just always make sure you're using multiple testing methods just in case, you know, so you want to use your weight, you know, your dimensions and, and your magnet and your ping just to be safe. Um, but no, I haven't been able to trick it. And then I've, I've asked the, the app developers the same thing. They said they haven't been able to trick it either. So I, I will mm. say that um, there is another machine. I won't say too many names, but it uses a different method of testing metal, basically, uh, not paying. It's it's a different um, way. But there you can you can you know actually fool this machine, and it's like an eight hundred dollar, and they have an upgraded version, thousand five hundred dollar machine. There's yeah. ways to actually fool that machine, and it'll show up as the silver or gold item is legit when it's not. But this little twenty three dollar ship machine. <laughs> So far, you haven't been able to fool this son of a gun. No, no. That's pretty interesting. I would say that, <laughs> you know, just trying to cover all bases, that a limitation would be a coin that's a um, counterfeit coin that is actually minted with the same sure. alloy. Correct. That's correct. So we're only testing for the alloy inside the coin, right? 
So the metal content, the silver, yeah, and so gold, if it's a, it yeah, if it's a, a replica made out of 90% silver and it has a CC on there, it'll still pass this test. That's correct. Now, is silver and gold all we test for, or can this thing do anything? Um, so I, by chance, I found just yesterday pinging an Ike dollar that it might actually be testing for copper as well, but unofficially or not announced inside of here. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, it's just gold and silver, yes. Okay, maybe in the future we can do platinum and you know get crazy yeah. with rhodium. The the only the only thing stopping us from doing that is sitting down with the developer and getting the coins that we want to put in here, and then recording them and then getting enough recordings to where there's that variation is captured, and, and then this app can grow as big as we want it. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking maybe somehow call upon the community to help with that sometime. So somebody just uh, asked the question, can you test gold? Yes, you can test gold with this. It does that. Silver and gold are, are really the focus on this at the moment. Correct. Yep. Okay. And um, how do you think about this particular design? I mean, because you created this thing. Uh, yeah. So there's a, there's a guy named Ken Rutherland. I don't know if you guys have heard of Fish Instruments. He made a product called The Ringer. It's um, similar to this, except it's it's very complicated and it's not, as safe um, I called him and I, I told, talked to him and I was telling him I was trying to develop a better product and he wasn't really interested in, in talking to me at the time really um, but I do plan on reaching back out to him again and showing him the the massive improvements that we've made to his his design and so we basically just reinvented it and took out all the fat from his and made it much much safer for all coins uh, and way more affordable and accessible to everybody yeah, I mean, twenty three dollars. I probably threw that away today on uh, one meal. Yeah, it's I like had. a couple appetizers, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Somebody said that they tried for hours to trick your machine and they could not do it. And it's driving cool. them nuts that they can't trick it. Yeah, that. I, yeah, I mean, I have probably a couple hundred fakes. I ping them all, and I can't. I can't trick it either. That's so, cool. And that's, that's maybe. And that's maybe why it. Um, you know, that's why sound money is a thing, right? Like it's a sound investment or there's a, there's a ring to it. There's a, those words, those phrases are in our language for a reason. Um, and, and yeah, so that's, that's sound money, right? So, you know, I always show people how great investing in silver and gold is. I mean, I believe in it fully. And people send me, unfortunately, fakes all the time. And, yeah. uh, you know, if, if we buy from really reliable sources, we should be okay 99.9999% of the time, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But sometimes there's some good deals out there. People want to venture out and try their luck, or maybe they get a collection from you know a loved one and they had gotten some fakes down the line because fakes have been going on for thousands of years. You know, It's not like a new modern thing only where there's fakes. They've been happening forever. As long as there has been legit coins, there's been fakes. So um, it's nice to have a really cheap way to test these things. Yeah, and, and you don't need the, the, the device to do a ping test, right? Like, I've seen you do it in your video, Spectacular. You put it on your finger and you just tap it. Yes. It, it's the same exact thing. Um, the major difference between using this and that is, so you put this on your finger. This is a 22 karat, I think it's a half ounce gold eagle. Where's my screen? So I put it in here. And I get about not even three seconds of ping. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you put it into the pocket finger. And because it's holding it in that in that free state, just in the center of the coin, there's not much surface area. You'll be able to get 25 to 30 seconds. So you get a, a lot more clarity in what you're listening for. Oh, way longer. Yeah, it, it's it's more it's about a magnitude better for, for certain coins. I find, too, that when I do it on my finger, that I end up editing a lot of this out of my video. No joke that when I tap it, I drop it about 50 percent of the time I hit. <laughs> I get sure. a little crazy with the tapping process, and it's just yeah. too much. I lost a. I was in my car trying to ping test a, a tiny little Mexican. I think it was like a one centavo, something like that. And it, it, I lost it in my car seats because I didn't have the pocket pinger. Yeah, so it's still in the car somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, so look at this. So you can put it in your finger. And don't try this at home. This is improper use. But you can actually spin the coin around your oh, finger. Oh, huh? you got tricks now. <laughs> yeah. I actually seen something where I thought it was kind of neat where you pinged it. And then you sat it down like that, and of course it keeps going. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. do that. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kind of. I don't know how good you can hear it since I have to get it away from the microphone. But do you have any yeah. Sterling? Uh, yeah, right next to me. Why does Sterling ring better? Yeah, Sterling has a little bit more resonance. Sure. 
Hold on a minute. I got all kinds of stuff here. One second. Didn't plan for this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a nice little sterling piece that I have. Oh, sweet. That is cool looking. Okay. Yeah, it's got a really nice little design to it. So, all right, so take this out, hit the sterling, and it goes nuts. It even has a nice little spot for me to put it. It tells me right where the center is. <laughs> That's pleasant. Okay, let's try and test that, too. You don't by any chance know the diameter of that, do you? Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, we can try with this thing right here, right? Is it bigger than an ASE? Oh, yeah, perfect. Hold on a second. Stand by. Stand by to stand by. See, this is all bonus material right here. I got about 38 millimeters, 38.5. Perfect. And it's one ounce coin? Well, let me see. I don't think it even says on there exactly what it is. Um, I don't see that. It says United Nations. What does this say? Can I zoom in this in once? I don't know, you want me to weigh it? Would that help? Yeah, just in grams if you could, please. Okay, let me do that. See, it's kind of important. Now you gotta have a scale and you gotta have uh, calipers ready to go. Especially when you're looking for a coin that's not in the database. All right, so I just see. made an assumption. I have no idea if it's in there or not. 25.5. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's gonna sink, man. Cool, so we are gonna check that. Tell me when you're ready. Hold on, stand by. I gotta put it in the uh, little jaws of life here i'm gonna take this off the screen while he pings it get it ready when you are all right what's what should i do should i do the little flick thing right here or should i do the actual beating stick and try the beating stick and hit it a couple times you're gonna you're gonna put my name on it the beating stick <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go beating stick incoming now oh wait hold on i i beat it incorrectly here we go And you can see the app heard the silver in the coin. It's very cool. And look at wow. that resonance. That's, where's my finger? That, that's cool. Pretty that's awesome. Really cool. Yeah, and then you can see where you hit it that second time too at the end of the test. Now, it will say bad if it's bad. I have a two out of three good. What does two out of three mean? So two out of three means good. It means good. It, 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 the way that this is, it's still, there's still some issues with the scoring. It's not really scoring, it's three things. So. Three of three means it's a perfect match to the coin that's in the database. Two of three means that it, it can hear the silver in the coin based on uh, all the other 800 coins that are in there that are similar to those, those parameters. It's basing it on that. Does it sound within that parameter? It's giving it a two out of three. So there is a purity limitation, but it does mean that it can hear silver in the coin. And maybe more importantly, it will tell you if it cannot hear silver in the coin. Um, but there is a there is a purity limitation with the two out of three. And then one out of three means check your specification. But it says acceptable, but it should be check your specs. Perfect. Every time I've seen one out of three means it, the weight's not right, the diameter's not right, or the purity that you're testing for is wrong. Sure. All right, so it's good, though. <laughs> it's good, yeah. That's okay. a good <laughs> sign. <laughs> All right, uh, another question. Are you limited to round things? Uh, yeah, with the application, yes. Uh, the ping test, no, absolutely not. Uh, so, so the ping test, is... I could actually l do this and listen for the sound and put it, compare it to like a, a known real piece? Yeah, so with bars, in my experience, there's about five or six different sounds that a bar can make. Um, and then you have to, you, or the, the correct way to do that would be like comparing a Morgan with a Morgan or a Pan American with a Pan American. And, but if you don't, since they're all 999 purity and they all have similar manufacturing processes and surface finishes, and, and they're basically the same shape, right? You can you can yeah. compare with other silver bars, and then you can decide whether or not the one that you just ping falls within those expected falls within that expected sound range. All right, we're we're gonna put you to a little bit of a test here. You say you listen to this stuff all the time. We're just gonna just for fun. I'm not gonna yep. get mad at you if you're if you're right or wrong. Either way, sure. we're gonna ping this and see what you think. Okay. Yep. Okay, here we go. Wait, Let no. me, uh, can you put it at like a, or yeah, hit it with a stack stick. All right, stack stick next to the, uh, the speaker. Here we go. That's fake. So you can, tell, you can tell right away that's fake just because the resonance from a pure bar wouldn't go that long. You don't need more, more hits. That's, that's good enough for you. Yep. Yeah, it's totally fake. I actually scratched it all up. It's got like some kind of coppery brass color inside. 
What's interesting about that, though, is the sound that it makes could probably trick somebody that's not trained. Right? Because it does have like a like a beautiful sound to it. But it doesn't it sound like silver. It definitely doesn't resonate at all, like for like any like length of time. Yeah, that's a fake for sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is a fake. And there's all this kind of stuff out there. I get all kinds of stuff, like I said, all the time. This is fake. I mean, this whole whole thing right here is just full of fake stuff. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad, really. It's disgusting, and uh, I can't yeah. stand um, first of all the fakes, and then when people try to justify buying a fake, uh, it just I don't I don't get it. Um, I mean, if you're trying to compare, if you maybe have like a ton of eagles and you want to buy one known fake so that you can ping it and try to like see what it would sound like, uh, I guess yeah. I get that, but. To try to say like, oh, I put them in my my you know collection still, or I fill gaps yeah. in my my books with them. Yeah. So about so I have people contact me saying that they bought a bunch of fakes. I've had one guy contact me saying he bought a bunch of fakes and he thought they were real when he bought them and he was going to make some money when they arrived from overseas. And then he found out they were fake and he tried to sell them to me. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so and, and that's happening. I'm pretty sure it's happening quite a bit because there's been quite a few. So there's been 32, 32 fake Morgans, 20 fake ASEs. Uh, someone just caught a fake Benjamin. And there was a Chinese dragon dollar. People have told me they've caught with the pocket pinger so far. Wow. Yeah, and, and, a, and you see all these like ads on Facebook. And if you go into like AliExpress or Alibaba, there's hundreds, hundreds of people that are that are buying and selling fake coins. I'm pretty sure on and that right, website, there's only fakes. Yeah, they have, yeah, they're all counterfeits. They do sell real silver fakes too, which is scary. <laughs> Instead of only fans, you have only fakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, listen, um, I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I know you're with your family right now. I think you've answered every question I could possibly think of. Now, cool. if you say your website, um, people are going to try to memorize it and write it down. I'm actually going to link it wherever I put this video. I'll, I'll put the link somewhere so people can actually just copy and paste it or uh, just click on it if they can do that. But what, where, where can people get this right here? Um, you can get it on Amazon or eBay, and, but you'll save a couple bucks if you buy direct. You can get it um, at coinpingtest.com. Pretty easy, Coin, coinpingtest.com. Coin okay. And if they did get it on Amazon, what are they searching for? Pocket Pinger. Pocket Pinger. And okay. it, yeah, so it's still a new product on those sites. So you will need to have, it'll come up like Pocket Printer. <laughs> so oh. you'll, need to, you'll need to click search instead for Pocket Pinger. Yeah. Um, but, it, but it is on there. You want to be careful you spell Pinger correctly when you're on uh, some of these websites. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> yeah, and, and you'll see some interesting things come up in the suggested or what they think you're typing as well. Yeah, if you're not spelling things right. <laughs> Maybe one day, uh, maybe one day we can get like a little and, and no benefit to me. I promise. I don't want anything from it. Maybe uh, the fans can get like a little tiny coupon if they click a, a certain link or they put a coupon code with my name in there. You know what I mean? We could figure that out. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. But 23 bucks. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's, it's so cheap. 23 bucks. I mean, uh, I, I like the, the product a lot. Um, I don't ask many people at all to go live and explain their product. In fact, I'm trying to think of another time I've done that and I can't uh, because I think it's just so cheap. Um, it's so good. And there's so many fakes out there that people should have um, a tool like this. And there's no reason not to get this. Yeah, totally agree. It's super useful and it's fun. Listen, thanks a lot and uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Anything else you got for me? Uh, or... yeah, no, that's good. Appreciate you recommending this this is great yeah i really uh like i said i think it's a good idea everybody should have one there's no reason not to skip the mcdonald's for one day <laughs> that's right exactly you know what i mean <laughs> you feel better and uh your life will be improved because you'll have a pocket pinger great all right thanks a lot man i greatly appreciate it and yeah. like i said <clears throat> this is on instagram now so people here can benefit from it and uh, hopefully I can get this onto the, uh, the YouTube if I can figure out how to transfer it. And uh, all this will be on there. Cool. It's nice talking with you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, you too. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. Bye-bye.
All right, so that was a really cool interview. Um, if you got a moment, check out that website. Grab yourself one. Uh, he actually gave us a coupon after that video for a little bit off of each one. So uh, coupon code down in the description should be SPEG for SPEG. All you got to do is put that in there and save yourself even some extra money on these already cheap little devices. There's no reason not to just grab one of these things, man. It, just, it could potentially save you a lot of money. Uh, bring them with you when you go to your coin shops, your pawn shops, your bullion shops shops whatever and and be like hey like that you know that silver piece right there i'd like to buy that but i really would like to use this you know i mean uh if you're if you're not confident if if the um shop doesn't have a way of testing things bring your own and you're in your pocket that's why it's called a pocket panger because you put it right there in your pocket but uh if you do have fakes make sure you label them as such get uh you know scratch in their fake or copy or counterfeit onto the coin. Don't wait to do it. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to do it one day. I'm just going to keep it in my album for now and fill a gap. Man, get that thing scratched in there. Copy, fake, counterfeit. Let's get these out of the hobby so they stop tricking people. They stop um, hurting people, these fake silver and gold coins and other coins. I mean, there's fakes of everything out there. We, we got to stop it. Um, but I do want to leave you with a little um, real versus fake coin ping before I leave you. So here we go. The first one, I'm not sure which one is which. We're going to find out by the uh, the ping here. So, And then one with the stick. It's still ringing. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's still ringing. So there's the first one. And here is the second. We'll try it with this little flick first. And then a couple with the stick. One more. And that is the real one. That is sound money. So again, links in the description. Check it out. There's no reason not to have one of these things. Hopefully you enjoyed me talking to the creator of this little device. And uh, hey, big shout out and a big thank you. Uh, to him for creating this. That's what we need in our hobby. We need people to help us with these problems we have, to find solutions. Um, this man did, and, um, uh, and you know the man that created the app, uh, big thank you to them too. That's, that's uh, two really cool tools we have. Uh, for One's for free for right now, and one's <laughs> just for a few bucks. Uh, big thank you and big shout out to those guys. So appreciate that. Please, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed me doing this, please thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and what you'd like to see in the future as far as like the ability of this stuff. Maybe um, the, the designers of either the app or the machine can take note and try to expand upon what they've already got. I mean, this is the beginning right here. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think and uh, leave suggestions, of course. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'd greatly appreciate you subscribing to the uh, the channel. Uh, try to do as much cool things and different things as we can on here. Share the video with others. Don't forget, there's a coupon code down there so we can save some money and we can help others save some money too. I got to go for now. Spectacular is, hold on, fake out.